stamp rolls, Gainer again, and I've been playing with my old papers again. Uh, I come across these plaid papers. They come under tidings, plaid tidings, for a Christmas set that came out, but I don't think you can, I think you can use plaid anytime. I love the greys. Uh, you've got all sorts. Uh, really remind, you can have it at Christmas, I suppose. It really did came out at Christmas. But, and also, another lot of old designer series paper now i had scraps and i've cut them down i've got two i've got two thin these are uh, a quarter of an inch and these are half an inch i've also got stripes and i've also got the, the fatter version of those ones as well so but we're going to be making some faux quilt as they call it cards you can emboss them afterwards. I'll show you the two I'm, I'm making with you. Now this is using my one inch um, punch. Somebody gifted me this a long time ago. I think it was Nina Turner. She'd sent me this in the post and it's a one inch square and I thought, oh, fabulous, I love it. So I've already cut my little gold piece out. It's not the best gold cardstock I bought, but it is bang on one inch by one inch, which is giving me my centerpiece. And then this is using up those scrap pieces that I cut down. I use this thanks. I, I was sent this ages ago. Uh, I've also got these ones as word dies I've got it under. I think. Oh, what's the name? Cindy sent me these. It's got hugs, hello, love, and thanks. So I'm using cut out pieces. So I just literally did a, a three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths, and that's four by four. And just in a small quilted area, I added white cardstock on the back to strengthen it. And then I used black and gold to, to use the thanks absolutely loved the card i haven't got anything on the inside yet i'm going to show you how to make that one and then this is my second card now i told you i like the greys so i did a chevron style pattern to do the greys i just think it's beautiful if you took that ribbon off and maybe add a little spanner or a little hammer or some mail part that would make a perfectly beautiful thank you card for a gentleman and i think they love it i've done several die cuts of the white then i went over with silver and black just to finish this card off i've used my black gems and i've also used some black nouveau dots that way it cuts down on how many gems i'm using my little bottles have arrived so i've filled it up with my art glitter glue so i I can, I've got a proper pillar, a precision tip. So I've got a piece of my glitter card. This is cut at four by four. I've got a piece of only thin card stuck and this is four by five and three quarters. So when I attach this, it gives me that little section to add my thanks on the bottom. So let's glue that on. I love this cute little bottle. I gotta get used to using it yet. But you don't use as much. It's great. So let's just stand that up against there. Make sure it's even all the way around. Perfect. Let's pop that away. I will uh, find my other pokey tool. Not pokey tool. I think that's just cute. So yeah, like I'm saying, I added for strength, and not only that, it just gives me the 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 best dimensions for my card, and it fits on there beautiful with a nice little border all around. We can attach that actually, because I may add the quilting section. You can keep it all flat. You could add dimensionals and again I used my 
black nouveau drops oh gaina come on get it on let's just make sure that oh that's beautiful but you could knock these out these literally take about a few seconds once you've die cut all your pieces you'll throw this card together so quick so this is my card stock i've got a little notch top and bottom left and right just so it can guide my way with the center i've added a piece of double-sided tape and i'm just using this stuff i get from the pound shop it's cheap and cheerful get my cheap pokey tool because i don't want to get any glue on the back look and i've got a two inch area covered so i'm gonna add another piece on the bottom it's a wee bit sticky so I just want to try and keep that piece. There we go, all the way along the bottom. I'm going to use a block to tear it off. So cheap. I get this a pound a roll from Morrison's, the supermarket. They've got a little aisle, and everything down the aisle is in red boxes, and it's a pound. So, where's my little silicone mat? I don't know why I'm doing this, but I need a new one. This is split. But I'm literally now going to take off the backing. I'm going to judge. Because I can see the squares through there. I'm going to line that up with those little spots. And I'm going to add my little gold square. So I want to keep line on there it's not perfectly in the centre but this is my teflon bone folder nothing tends to stick to it it's not supposed to stick is <laughs> right let's get my other one i'm gonna look at me i got glue all over my fingers i've been messing around before we started so i started off with a stripe you need a little pair of scissors because this will not waste much cardstock either. And then you're going to line that right up next to it. So it's a perfect straight line and right up close to this side and just push it down and then nick it off. Because look, I'm going to get two sides and you just follow it round like a pinwheel. As long as you've got a straight perfect edge. You can push that up close and it's called the faux quilt. Don't throw away these pieces yet. They come in handy for the corners if you need them. So another piece. And look how quick this comes together. And once I've done the first two, and let's see, straight end, both ends. I'm gonna turn that round. Make it nice and straight. Push that up there. Push that up there. And spread that out there. I mean, I'm going to trim them down later, but it's perfect. Now, I had the same width, but patterned. So, again, this will, again, push that up close. And against that side, you can leave a little gap if you want, but again, that piece, it'll do two sides. And when you get further to the outside piece, as long as you've, I've got my tiny little stamping up trimmer, so I can lay it up the top and get a nice flat um, piece taken off. Keeping all those little bits for the corners. So let's find another blue one. So I've used this one as you can see, but I will definitely get another piece. Keeping it butt up to there. And then what I'll do is I'll stick it in my little trimmer, keeping it flat against this top. 
give myself another little piece and let's just see if that's long enough oh look at that perfect and I was lost was that tiny little bit there so we're getting there it's looking like a little pinwheel and then I use this green this stuff will go a long way as well so again you got to make sure it's right up close cut that off turn it around come up close squash that on again I will pop that in there push it up the top and I've got my little end I mean I've used just leftover pieces that I had and just cut them down into little strips again that will come as a corner you'd be surprised I need one more piece again push it right up close I've got a, I've got a bundle for I want to use up my designer series paper I could go out and buy all new with the stamping up products but I just I can't I can't I cannot think about actually spending that much money anymore so so this is the opposite side of the green stripe it's more orangey than the blue and I'm going to use that one now again push that up close I've got two ends that I can work with straight away just push that up I mean how quick is this going together push that up perfect I don't think that's going to be big enough yet no nope. but again that one piece will now do let me cut this up straight should get my fourth piece out of this one oh it's too cute too cute 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 now we're going back to our stripe and I've got a little piece here look I've even got some of these pieces in the thicker bits oh so we had the small let's do that actually because these are my end pieces I can literally just put that on the end and there uh, put it on the end even cut that down and put that on the end and these are just scrappy pieces now and I got another little piece there let's see if that's the same now and then that piece has got on there now I'm going to turn it over give it a good pressing down and I'm just going to set this to the side just while that grips and look at that I've got enough there to make another couple of cards Keep all these little sections because they come in handy for the corner pieces pop them to one side for a moment set that to one side and let's move on with our other card I've got my bits here I got some black I've already cut out two of the thanks in white and I've already done the shadow in the silver so we'll glue those together and then I'm going to cut out the black um, but I'm going to keep it attached so when I attach it on there I know where it is oh, you'll get my dress so I've got my little bits I've got my stripey pieces I've added double sided tape to both of these and this is going on my glitter card you could go and cut this out of the center and that way instead of using their plain silver you could have a glittery silver 
I mean, I'm not going to do that right now, but my card base, which is the basic grey, I think that complements with the black on these plaid cards, but it gives like a quilted effect. And let's pop that one. I just think it looks so cute and absolutely adorable. But you'll see the plaid effect in a moment. So let's pop that to one side. Let's get our double sided tape removed. Perfect. Now you will need a long piece. So I uh, let's start. Did I start with the black? It doesn't matter what you start with. So I'm aiming roughly for the corners on my card. So I want a quite a long piece. So let's pop that up to the corner. And there's no measuring, no guessing. And then this one you're gonna hold butt up close. You could do it there, but I'm gonna start mine here. I'm gonna see if I've got a black end. They've all got white ends, see? Ah, oh, there, nice little black piece. And it's, oh, there we go. That seems to follow that pattern lovely. And again, you can try and aim for the corners if you want to. Again, you can cut these off. For the inner bits and then we're just going to basically swap colors this time so we're going to go right up close to this one can you see right up close and butt that up close cut that off but don't throw these uh, little pieces away keep them I've even got some here from the other ones so I'm just going to push them to one side again butt this up close even if you've got a little gap and you've made a little tiny boo-boo don't worry that's where my sentiments go in so and then you can measure these that's not quite long enough but it will be for the next one so we need another couple of these and this time we're going right to the end of here adding that another one there and we're going to go right to the end of this one this time and butt that up close press that down perfect oh i'm going all over the place so now we come back with this colour, slice that on, we haven't got quite enough yet, now we need another long piece, and again, oh, let's go that way, but can you see the chevron shape cut taking effect? Perfect. Now we should be able to get these pieces. Yeah, let's uh, add that up close and push that on. While we're here, get some of these. See how that little bit there? Don't worry about that, we'll come to that in a sec. So, longer piece, is that long enough? Or oh, not quite. Is this long enough? Not quite. Oh, I've got another one here. But see the chevron shape? Beautiful. This can come off here. Beautiful. So now we go back to the black on this one. Push that right up close. 
another piece of grey oh sorted and see with this piece now just going to snip that end off there and then that can go right on that little corner piece there and I'm just going to give them a whack down so now we come back I've got some straight pieces you could use three colors oh look at that that fit perfect you could use three different colors not quite i'm gonna oh look at that perfect and then we've got another straight piece here you could do uh Let's cut one of these smaller ones down instead of wasting a small bit like that. So I'm going to keep it along that line. I'm going to add that there because I've got a straight bit. And then, oh, I've got a straight bit there as well. Another tiny little bit. And then there's that corner we just cut off. And that bit. It's just going to tuck right in there. I'm going to. There we go. Look how quick that was. Again, you can use scissors. I'm not the best with scissors, but I'm going to show you how I did it with milk. Look at all these little bits we got left. Absolutely gorgeous. Made. I mean, I only used some leftover pieces. So let's do the short edge first and I'm lining that up with the edge of the trimmer blade look keep these little pieces these come in handy for corners let's get this end in perfect keep those little bits in and now we've got a straight edge we can come up to the top keep that nice and straight perfectly look got those little bits and if you get a little bit that's still attached perfect straight line and again come on in Just check it. And they got all those little bits up there. And we've got our straight little plaid card. How cute is that? I love the two colours. You could, like I'm saying, let's just get rid of some of these little ones. And just keep together the bits you want to keep. I can pop them to one side use them on another card and I've got a bundle for some reason the using up cardstock using up DSP when I've got so much stuff I'm sure you ladies have all got some of this older stuff and you don't get rid like me but you still want to use it you still want to play I mean you're following I, I don't get me wrong I follow some ladies who I adore to watch but as soon as it retires, they because they work for Stampin' Up, they feel obliged then to get rid and never play with it again. And I think that's criminal because I'm mean, spending enough money on it. So I'm going to use my my bigger one, and I'm going to really juice this one up because it's going on glitter card. I'm going to really soak it in. So I need a little bit extra glue. You could add dimensionals if you don't mind a bulky card. I'm just checking to make sure that it's nice and neat. And then I'm going to really prep that down. I'm going to glue those bits together with you. And I'm going to grab some blocks and just add those on there. Where's our little piece here? let's do some little trimming on this one as well this is so cute but these little bits are literally perfect 
perfect. I'm quite confident. And when I get to the ends, I can just chop it off. I tend to check the blade. Perfect. I mean, like I say, you can lift this up. You might have a tiny little bit of overspill, but that is cute. See, we've got all these little bits we've got in handy. We can keep them handy. And then again, I'm just going to add, because we've added this already to the card, again, I'm going to add a nice big... I don't want this to, to be flimsy. So again, I'm going to line this up and give myself a little bit more of a border on this one. Let me just check that. That is so cute. And again, I'm going to give that a rummage from the back. And we're going to leave that one now with blocks on this now is going to get attached to my card i mean i can see a little tiny bit of overspill again don't need so much on this part because this is going straight on your card i mean you can have it which way ever way around you want i'm just literally lining that up Give that a ramage. That is so cute. I mean, this time they're going on there, and you could even have this this way round because you might get the tiniest little overhang. I mean, it's tiny, so you could either snip it off or just leave it like that. I think that is so cute. So let's glue these together. Love it. And then we'll do some die cutting then. So let's line these up. I don't want them shadowing each other. I want them to be perfectly lined up. You mocky pups like me, girls. Look at my fingers. Literally, use your rubber. Look at that glue come off easy. Comes off lovely. Right, let's, before we do any further, uh, that one's for that card. I'm gonna, I've got my machine set up. And this is for the gold, so I'm just going to cut the gold out, which is going against the black, which is what I need for the small squared. Oops. And then we're going to send this through. And I want my thanks then on here. Poke out these little bits. And then, literally, but I'm going to do something different with this one. Squeeze that through. Ooh, a stiff. There we go. So I'm going to keep this one. Whoops. There we go. This is going. Have I just cut the black? Yeah, I'm cutting. There it is. There's my black piece for that one. Peep that. Get these bits out of the way. 
Now I'm going to slide that off gently and try and keep it in place for a minute. I'll show you what I'm going to do if I do it, if I remember to do it properly. So my white, they're going up there, and this is for this card. So I'm taking away these bits. And I want to be able to pop it on there perfectly. I did use double-sided tape on one of them and I can't remember which one it was. But I'm going to leave that lined up there just for a moment. And then we're going to come in with our gold piece. And I'm going to use the thin glue. Because when that sets, I need it to set nice and tidy so that's why I'm using this little tiny piece of glue here uh, this little glue pot so I can get oh she says without dropping it you don't want to misplace it because it can easily come out of shape and I, what I did with my other one on the black one I add the double-sided tape before I run it through and I've forgotten to do it this time, so it'll be a matter of gluing it again. Right, see the top of my T there? I haven't poked out that bit. There we go. And I had glue on that, so... Right, we need to lay this down as careful as possible. I had actually kept one of them in it in its uh, silhouette silhouette of its own silhouette so when i came to add it there we go that's not oh well, that's gone on pretty well so let's turn that over and give that a little rummage that went on pretty well that did i'm quite shocked with that that lined up absolutely beautiful oh i'm glad i bought that little tip um dimensionals now I'm going to use some black flip that over because this can really take a few as well so I'm going to put them the backs come off these brilliant make sure I've got it tucked in You could, at this stage, if you want to add a nice little ribbon on there, you can. I think a nice little mint macaron, which is retiring. Whoops. Got my little bits now. Pop that to one side. And then I can get in my bottom card, which should be okay now it's dry. And I love the black against that gold. And again, I'm just going to... It's quite a wide sentiment, but I don't mind that tiny little bit. When it's against the envelope, it doesn't compromise. So what did I do with this one? I got my little gems out these little crystal clear ones just popped a few out oh shavings she says i've dropped them everywhere now left me neck what am i like should i put the lid on <laughs> pop them back in there excuse me girls if i don't pick them up now i'll forget and then i go all over the floor Right, I've closed it. So, my little dot you want. Uh, I'm adding the tiniest little bit of glue. And I'm adding them in twos. Let's just add one there. 
and then I can get my little pick me up tool just place these I need that big one then I need it to turn over Do you know when you just go you just won't turn over and I'm adding that nice big one there I mean the glue that oozed out from under there there we go I like to get my other end and just pick away at the the glue because because I can see it, I know I'm a fussy sad. Uh, find the other ones now. Just grab some of those. And you can add as many as a little as you want. Add another big one. There's a big one. That is so cute. Oh, wait there. I can see another one. I mean, I wouldn't do that with my other little uh, gems. You know, the ones you buy on a strip and you only get a couple for about £7. These were given to me a long time ago. Again, by gorgeous Cindy. So I'm going to tip out a few black ones ready for my other little card. These are all the same size. I'm going to pop them to there for a minute. So while we're waiting for this one to dry and the little gems, I just used my black Nouveau dots to complement. So, just give it a shake. Let me test it on my craft mat. Oh, perfect. Tiny little dots. That's all you need. You don't need to splurge on big ones. And then see how tiny they are? And I'm just adding... That looks really pretty. I didn't have any on anywhere else. I had these clear gems. So let's pop that to one side. Just give that a little drying time. I am going to be adding quite a few on here. But we'll do that after we put our thanks sign on. So again, I'm going to have to glue this on. I've never used one of these tiny little bottles before and they're quite cute actually. I'm loving it. So I want this perfectly laid over the top. The reason I'm using the white is just to give me some depth instead of wasting all that foam. Now I've got a little tissue and it just buffs that silver back up. You know, in case you've got mucky uh, fingers like I have. Because I get really mucky fingers. But how cute is that? So, because I didn't add my tape, I'm going to have to poke this out. See if it falls out easy enough, because it can go a bit misshaped. So, let's poke. Pop my finger under. I'm only gently, I'm not pulling, pulling. There we go, that come out beautiful. That is gorgeous. And again, like I'm saying, I'm just going to hold it and use my little precision tip. I seem to be able to get a little bit more control. Because I, I can sometimes add up way too much glue. Clean that nib off with my finger. Oh, and then just scrape it. That went the wrong side. I 
And again, we want to lay this. I've just spotted something. I wonder if you can tell. Oops. I'm not worried about the the glue. I'm just trying to you get a, a good bit of wiggle she says perfect oh I'm going to keep it in place just going to turn it over now did I add black dimensionals yeah I did so again, my black, let me pop this in there. I'm going to add some, I'm going to leave it out actually because I'm just going to put the pin in. Ah, she says when I can do it. My eyes set. Right. So more black dimensionals. They do fit on the smallest bits. I know, I'm going to use a lot, but... I want to make sure it stays on this gorgeous card. Check my back, is it okay? Perfect. I mean, you could put, that would be an excellent Christmas card. Excellent mail card. So this one that I've got the bow on, I'm going to leave that as a lady card. I mean, I could add it there again. I could add it even as a, oh, there we go. Let's add that as a slant on there. Grab my tissue. I'm just giving it a jet. Oh, it gets all that off. And in my little tub, I've still got, let me find them, I've got love art there, ah, I've still got some of the geared up garage, little key and a little spanner, so I'm going to turn this one into a mail thank you card. Perfect. Let me just put that away. Grab my little glue. In fact, no, I'll use glue dots. I've got some tiny glue dots here. And the reason I'm using these old ones, Glow, is because I don't want to get glue on them, my darling. So, you got a pattern one side, and then you got a flat pack. So, I'm going to add. Once you peel off the backing, you can get to maneuver those in the right place, or you can just take it off roll the back in so it's into a small tight area and then you can add that just down there at the bottom so you've got a, a, a glue dot top and bottom and I'm gonna have the little key just there I've got them on my fingers and everywhere I'm going to do the same for my little spanner. I'm going to add a glue dot just there when it wants to come off. And again, another little glue dot just there. Whoops. And that glue dot's come off. <laughs> I will put that on in a sec. In fact, I'm going to put it on now. When it wants to come off my finger. There we go. And that is going to get balanced just there. So it's got its two little keys on. I'm going to keep that out, actually. Grab my little glue. And... I'm just gonna one, two, three, six, nine, twelve, and another one there. 
because these are cute little gems again he was given to me i tell you what i did find the other day that i found a lot of got a lot of um fingernail jewels uh, i bought them oh my goodness when i first started crafting about seven eight years ago and i found them the other day in a little tub and i was like oh my word i forgot all about them It's upside down and turn it the right way. Hope they fall the right way. There we go. But I reckon these black little gems are perfect for this card. For male card, female card. I got little bits of glue which I will it does dry clear, but you know how fussy gainer is. I think I've got one more dot there. And then I can manoeuvre them with the back end until they fall flat. See there? And go, if you look, see. Well, I don't know if you can see it unless I get really, really close. No, you can't. Unless you put me on big screen. And then you can see that the glue was oozed out. You can min If you move these, they will. the quicker you move them, the quicker they dry up. And then I can just literally scrape off excess glue with my tool. And then move those to where I want them and just press them down. That is cute. Oh, I love it. Right, let's get some of those. I love this cute little dish. It's adorable. Pokey tool goes away. My other pokey tool, because it's now covered in uh, glue. My other pokey tool of Gloria is my bestest. So I'm keeping that for good. And now some more. You can add these Nouveau dots. Again, I'm just literally just squeezing a few extras in twos. I'll add another one there to make that three. It just saves on putting all those little gems on there. And if it dries out on you, stick it under your armpit. Anywhere there's a warm spot. And you can, and I daren't touch that now, but these bottles, once and if they ever run out, wash them out, hot soapy water, and then you've got a little fine tip on there, which you can use a pin with to stop the glue. So you've got your own little juicy bottles, but I reckon these will last forever because look at that. So we have got this one with our little key and spanner on there for a gentleman to say thank you i got my lady version there with the little bow on this i'm still going to be careful until they dry out so i can rest that one on there and then this is the other one i made yesterday now i'm using that cheap gold foil that i had when i went over to the range do you remember when i did that and i did a little video uh let me show you now. This is, I think this is the same cheap stuff. You watch, when I cut this out, I don't think it's adhered very well to, oh, look at that now. That look, looks perfect, isn't it? Amazing. That one still looks like it's bubbling up all the time. You could add that over the top to give it an extra shape, to give it an, uh, a more quilted look but they're like like quilty feeling you could add that on the dimensional well that one's okay it's just this one on this card for some reason it keeps rippling up well i had a little order today from oh what's it called amazon because do you remember stamping up used to do a tag punch and it's so rare now it must have been well before i joined 
and it's a slightly different shape than this but look at that it tugs tags ready for you to glue it into place so you've got somewhere to pull well the one for stamping up is is it it's a different shape but it's the same concept well the ones i've seen advertised on oh what's it called ebay like 175 dollars plus shipping from america so you're talking another 30 40 dollars and, and i'm like i'm not paying 200 dollars for a stamp that came out it's probably about 13 to maybe 17 pound so i found this one which scores beautiful in half to do my album so when i can pull a photo mat out from the side or the top look at the size of the punch it's amazing it's got a drawer on to catch all the bits she said oh, there we go to catch all the bits and the 11 uh, 17 pound but look at the size of it it's amazing and it's by vanessa Vayerson creative or something but it punches out beautiful and i got another punch coming tomorrow because it's sunday today i got another punch coming tomorrow it does the photo corners even with the little when you fold down the side so you can add all your photo corners without having to buy little photo corners amazing 11 pound right with this one i'm going to remove that unless i then decide to add that over the top because it looks a lot better <laughs> but that's the one we just done that's the one we just done these are the two i'd already made but what a beautiful quilting effect um and you i've got some of this stuff left i was gonna use this you could add that on the inside of your card um i could take a slip oh, i could take a slither i mean look now it's creased but you can take a slither oops no not off that one now but never mind like i'm saying you could have added double-sided sticky tape to the back of these so it just peeled off and you could add it i did that on the first one but forgot to do it they've got little bits on so let's keep that there but i hope you've enjoyed uh, we've got two little chevron quilty style cards with our scraps yes again and we beat them up with some gold and silver glimmer card i just love it i would never use this golden glimmer card normally without doing these sort of cards though so. well i hope you've enjoyed i do hope you'd give me a thumbs up and a share that'd be amazing and uh yeah thumbs up pushes it out to other other ladies who like to craft so they can come along and see what we've done come join in the chat us ladies are like a little family when we have the premiere chats we just love it so but thank you for watching and until next time look at the gold on that <laughs> take care see you soon bye